Steve with Guitar Center. We're at NAMM 2023 at the Walrus Booth. We're hanging out with Jason yeah. and Colt. We're going to do a demo of the new Fundamental cool. Series pedals. Yeah. How you doing, Jason? Good, good. Really good. Glad to be here. Glad to be with you guys. So tell us all about the Fundamentals. Where yeah. did it come from? And why does it exist, etc.? We just saw a need to like offer something that was more accessible to like people that are maybe just starting their guitar journey. We, we took a lot of the same things that you know and love from our core line and the Mako series, and we brought it to this new platform called Fundamentals. Nice. Um, so it's a new enclosure size. It's a bit more compact. Obviously, we've gone with sliders instead of uh, knobs for control, um, which is just a, a fun, different way to interact with pedals that a lot of people aren't used to um, just being the only controls on there. You know, some pedals have sliders and knobs, but these are just all sliders. Another really interesting thing about it, when you look down at a pedal full of knobs and you kind of want to know where all your settings are, you have to look at each knob individually, right, and really kind of study it. And with these, it was a happy accident. You just look down and you can instantly know where all three of your settings yeah. are, right? And relative to, uh, you know, all the way down to all the way up, you can see all three at one time very quickly and kind of identify how it's set. Yes, very cool. So let's go maybe through uh, some overarching tones, just yeah. hit some of the highlights here. Sure. So uh, let's just start with overdrive. Listen to the clean signal and then play a little bit of overdrive here. Nice crunch. Nice crunchy, like kind of light gain sound, but you can also get pretty dirty with it. Maybe listen to the fuzz real quick. Colt here is really well versed with us. From there, we kind of get into modulation. So, uh, you have a nice, really warm analog, all analog tremolo here. Three different wave shapes, of course, rate and depth, and then volume. So, you can really trim that around and make it fit right where you want it. Then we jump up to like, uh, let's let's bring in the reverb into the mix here. Set to plate. You have plate, hall, and, sp and uh, spring. With full wet dry mix, full analog signal path, just the same buffers that you'd find in like the slow or the fathom, things like that, are all brought here. Kick on the delay with it. It's kind of set to a slap back right now. We can bring the chorus in with it, but of course we brought the mix knob over from the Julia, so if you run the mix all the way down, even if you have your depth up, you don't hear anything. It's just dry signal. So we'll start there, and then we'll just start to bring it in slow with the mix knob. Turn the delay off. Yeah, and then we can do like some like lead stuff with the distortion reverb on here. Colt has gotten so much better at playing guitar. It's crazy. Like, when did you yeah. when did you pick this up? Um, you know, it's just been the last week or so. Yeah, last week. We really yeah. put in the uh, the time. I'm so glad that Colt could be here with us right now. And this this great guitar. So as you can see, the fundamental line is not just a great way to start picking out sounds and learning what you like, but it'll improve your playing overnight. It will. It absolutely will. And so these are out now, right? Available everywhere. Yep, they're available everywhere. A um, couple other things like. All the analog pedals are Relay True Bypass, so it's stuff that's going to last a long, long time. Um, yeah, just really excited about yeah. it. What has the, been the uh, sort of pattern of reaction that you've been getting from people? I mean, it's been overwhelmingly positive. Yeah, I mean, I think everybody's really excited to see what we did and to see kind of like our, our concept for this, this line and how it differs from the other line. So, I mean, everybody's been really excited. So, If you were forced to pick one to start with, the overdrive is killer just because it can do so many sounds in that one little box. The delay and verb too, probably for me, would be other ones. Yeah, I'd be looking at. Um, the tremolo is also really good though. So Colt, would that be your choice, the trem? Uh, I would maybe have to get two instead of one, so it would probably be trem and chorus. You mean like this? Sounds beautiful. Yeah, that's fun. The delay also is tap tempo, right? So if you, you turn it on, you can hold it down, and it enters tap mode, and you can tap in a tempo and a um, and a tap division. So quarter eighth, dotted eighth, and you just hold it down again, and it stores that, and you can run with that. Well, these are amazing, Jason. Thanks, Thank you so much, Cole, for playing today. There you have it, guys. That's the Walrus Audio Fundamentals line. Check it out at guitarcenter.com or try them out at your local GC.